Akron Holy War is real because a blind man can feel it. It divided families, it divided neighborhoods, it divided the city. There's families who's been grandfathered in, great-grandfathered in, it's bloodlines. You know, the phrase, holy war, there was nothing holy about it. If you ask anybody about rivalries, the first thing out of their mouth is hope and same thing. It's the Michigan-Ohio State game, except on the high school level. It's kind of like Michigan-Ohio State, but it goes a little bit deeper. It's a little bit more personal. St. V. Holborn rivalry was really Akron. You know, everyone knew each other. It's like your buddy from across the street or your neighborhood, you know, I ain't, you ain't gonna beat my butt tonight, I'm coming after you. Every single play, remind them what a family hits like. Let's go whoop some ass, let's go. It's a rivalry that's bigger than the game. It transcends the entire city. There's just so much history there. I can remember as a kid in grade school, we're talking about the game. You know, God, when someday I'd love to be a part of that, that game. As a football player, you realize that the game itself is bigger than you. It's not just about the football team and the coaches. It's a community celebration. It's more than Hoban. It's more than St. V. This is an Akron thing. For someone who's not part of the rivalry, you'll never understand it. You just can't, because you've never been a part of it. People live and die by this game because they care so much about their community and they care so much about their school. You want to be as big as the moment. Hey, and it's your chance. started out as a backyard rivalry. St. Vincent's was the only Catholic school around at that time. Then when you bring in a new school like Hoban, that kind of creates a competition. I lived in Firestone Park. Half the guys in Firestone Park went to St. V, the other half went to Hoban, and we would relive some of those games on Sunday afternoon off of Wilbeth Road in an empty church lot playing tackle football with no equipment on, but it always seemed like it was that, that natural split, St. V against Hoban. 1959 was the first game between Hoban and St. Vincent's. Hoban didn't want to play us a year before. They weren't ready. Prior to the fall of 59, Hoban's schedule was the uh, smaller schools in the area that they'd play. So they wanted to wait another year, and then we played in 59 at the Rubber Bowl. And of course, they beat us. The first time that I ever saw a Hoban football game was the first Hoban St. V game. St. V was a big favorite in that game. St. Vincent's were the established team. We were the new kids on the block trying to prove ourselves. They kept on saying they were going to kill us, so pretty nerve wracking getting up to that first game. Opening kickoff, Jerry O'Reilly from Hoban scored on an 80 yard touchdown run, and the upset was on. We scored early. And then we got a two-point safety. After they scored one, we were ahead most of the game, 16 to seven. And then in the second half, they come and score, and it's now 16 to 14, and we just hung on and ended up winning. That started the rivalry. That was a real big day for the school. During the game, I broke up a pass. The ball was in his hand, and I hit him, and I saw a flash of light. The next morning, my buddy and I went downtown because we wanted to get a paper to read about the game. And my buddy runs to get the paper, and I said, open that up, you're gonna see my picture in it. He said, Vanessa, if your picture's in here, I'll eat the paper. So he opens it up, he takes a bite out of the paper. That's a picture I still have after 57 years. <laughs> 